Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how to work with state with class component of React. Now, let's take a look at how to work with event in React application. So, let me just get rid of all this code from this clock component. And now, let me just get rid of this h2 heading tag as well. And just out of that, here I'm going to create an anchor tag like this and pass here, click me. That's it. Just out of that, to this anchor tag, I'm going to pass an event. As you know, in JavaScript, to create a click event, you simply call onClick attribute. I'm going to do the same in React. I'm going to pass here onClick attribute and then pass equal to sign. And here, we call the JavaScript method. So as you know, I'm using JSX. So I can pass JavaScript method inside curly braces here. So I'm going to just simply say here onClick is equal to and in the curly braces, I'm going to simply pass here ES6 arrow function. So I'm going to say here parenthesis, pass an arrow and just say console.log click event fire let me save the changes back to my browser and let me open my inspector as you can see here i have here a click link let me click on it when i click on it i have here a console message click event fire so when you click on this anchor tag i'm going to have this click event so this is how you can create a simple on click event in react now as you can see i just added here an anchor tag and called here an on click attribute using this on click attribute I just created an event call click. So when I click on this anchor tag, I'm going to execute this callback function. Now let me pass here a parameter to this on click. If I say here e, and I'm going to pass here inside this console.log, if I pass here e dot target, then let me show you what is the result of this statement. When I save the changes, and when I click on this click me, I have an HTML element in my console. It's going to return an anchor tag as a response. So this e dot target is going to return the current element. But you are not limited to pass a callback function like this. Instead, you can create a method in your class component and pass that as a callback method. Let me show you. If I just create here a method called handle click and if I pass here a parameter called e console dot law and if I specify here e dot target then I can call this method right here. Instead of this callback method, I can see here this dot handle click. When I save the changes and reload the browser, when I click on this click me, I'm going to have my element as a response. Now, this is easy to execute event using a method. Now, let me create a very simple example to understand how to use event in React. In this example, we create a simple on and off toggle button using state. So, inside this clock component here, I'm going to first call constructor and pass here props. And just out of that, inside these props, I'm going to first say super and pass props. And then I'm going to say here this dot state is equal to and pass object. So I'm going to just initialize this state using this dot state and then pass here an object. And inside this object, I'm going to pass here key which is is toggle on and pass here value true. Just out of that, here inside this handle click. Instead of this console.log, I'm going to simply say here this dot set state. As you know, I use this set state method to update the value of this state property. So inside this set state, I'm going to pass here an object because we just initialize this state with an object. So we pass here an object and here I'm going to pass is toggle on and then pass here not and pass here this dot state dot is toggle on. I'm going to use this negation operator to convert this property. So if we have is toggle on true, this statement will convert this to false. And if we have false here, this statement will convert it to true. So I'm going to have here inverted value inside this set state. And just for that, instead of this anchor tag, here I'm going to call a button and say here a curly braces. And just for that, inside this curly braces, I'm going to set this dot state dot is toggle on and i'm going to pass here question mark so i'm going to just call here ternary if and else condition and then i'm going to say if is toggle on is true then i'm going to just print on otherwise print off and to this button i'm going to call an event call on click and i'm going to pass here this handle click method so inside this curly braces here i'm going to say this dot handle click like this let me save the changes and execute this program when i click on this on button 
I'm going to have an error message. Cannot read property set state of undefined. You will get this error message because whenever you use state with event in the class component, you need to bind that event with the state. You will get that error because you have a state inside your class component and you use event to change this state. You need to bind that on click event with state. To do that, you need to just simply pass here inside your constructor. You need to pass this dot handle click. You need to create a property and then pass here this dot handle click and then pass here this like this. So this statement is going to bind the state with your event. Let me save the changes. When you click on this on button, this is not going to do anything because if you just take a look at this handle method, then you can notice you just use here this dot state dot is toggle on. We need to change it and we need to pass here actual state. So what I'm going to do is instead of this object, I'm going to pass here a callback function. So instead of this object, here I'm going to pass state and then I'm going to pass an arrow and inside this function, I'm going to pass this object like this. And then inside this object, I'm going to say is toggle on and then I'm going to pass negation and then I'm going to say state dot is toggle on. So this statement is going to get the actual state first using this parameter and then convert it. So if we have true inside this is toggle on, this statement is going to convert it and return false to this is toggle on. So using this state parameter, we get the current value of the state. This state parameter is going to return the updated value of your state and you can change that value using this set state method. Let me save the changes back to my browser and click on this on button and I click on it. Oops, I think I misspelled something. Yeah, right here. So when you bind your state with the event, you need to call here a method call bind. So I'm going to say here handle click dot bind. So you just need to call this bind method to bind your state with the event. Let me save the changes. And when I click on this on button, it's going to change to off. So as you can see, this will simply create on and off toggle button. Next, we're going to see how to create a conditional rendering. 